Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I won. Oh. <laughs> and welcome back to a new video welcome back to some more bit life controls my sim ella reno's currently sim bit life me violet is at work but it's fine because the boys are at home i'm especially happy because my little beautiful amazing attractive son Oh my gosh, how have I just forgotten his name? Here's my son, what am I doing? Leo. He's graduated from high school, but he's going to university and paying for his tuition, which means he gets to stay at home with us for a little bit longer. So I'm very, very happy about that news. I also put this house on the gallery. So if you guys were asking for it, so this whole house is on the gallery now. And oh, what's that? I have just arrived home. Here is little bit life for Sim me, Violet. I'm getting a bit older now. I'm definitely starting to look a little bit older, but I still have this just wonderful little life. I'm still so glad that I decided to emigrate to Mexico because things are very happy here. Our adorable little adopted son, um, Pepe has moved out. Also, he is now married, so there may be some bubbleroos in his future. And I kind of feel like because of that, we should probably do a little bit of rejigging with the rooms here. In fact, Leo, you're very lucky because what's this? <gasps> oh, I don't want to lose that picture. But I am going to extend his room so that he uh, gets a much, much bigger room. Look, we'll pop these in the kitchen here so we can see them as we cook. But he has just looked out real hard. <laughs> and he's got himself a double room now, complete with some extra stuffs in it. So, well done, Leo. If you wouldn't mind saying thank you for that by clearing up the plates that you seem to be leaving all over the house, that would be great and then do a little bit of your uni studying please oh where is your big school book maybe you have to go into uni ones to get it and i am 49 years old oh my gosh i am actually so old now i'm just gonna keep my mind active and like my body active just because i feel like it's important i might send myself out on a jog because i'm sort of getting to the age now where like i need to be careful with my health i do need to be real careful so you go for a little jog for yourself i know it's hot oh wow you could have at least changed your clothes you actually just going jogging in jeans and a shirt. Wow, okay then. <laughs> Keep working hard, but honestly, I sort of feel like I don't even need to work. I'm kind of tempted as well to retire back in the UK, just so I can be with my family again. It's tough to leave this, because this is real nice. I don't know who this lady is. I'm going to go say, oh, hello. And like I always say, until I upgrade my bit life, there's not like, I'm sort of in this weird period where there's not a huge amount of stuff I can do in bit life and replicate it in The Sims, which is really annoying. Oh, look, I've changed into my gym stuff. So just keep posting updates that my fans can see us at home. Probably should do an updated painting of Leo as well. Maybe I'm already on that. I'm doing something here, so I'm gonna crack on with that. Maybe me and Spence can do a little bit of clubbing. Every time I do this though, I don't enjoy it or somebody offers me drugs. And I don't want that, okay? I just don't want that to happen. So let's go ahead and age up another year. So I've been given a raise and Leo continues to study information studies at uni. Okay, that's fine. Not a lot is happening. Like me and Ellis still really hating each other. By the way, sorry if it sounds like I'm talking weird. Now that I've got like my retainer that stuff off my teeth. I got this like whitening paste I'm meant to put on in a night and my teeth feel so weird like they feel like air's going through them like oh I feel like I need to put little coats on them all. It's just horrible. It feels so weird and I really don't like it. So yeah, that's why I like Ugh. It's just a horrible, horrible feeling. But, yeah, Ellis and his wife have separated. I'm gonna try and talk to him. No there's just nothing I can do. Nothing I can do for that kid. We have a 0% relationship now. Joan, I sometimes struggle with as well. Yeah, me and Joan apparently still not getting along. Gonna give little Pepe a chat on the phone. We discussed the death penalty. Okay, sort of morbid, but fine. When she's done a little wee, I'll get her to give him a call. And then I don't get on with one of my nieces and nephews. One of Ellis's kids doesn't like me either. Yeah, Chloe! <gasps> she hates me because her dad hates me. I'm gonna talk to Lottie instead. Okay, me and Lottie still get on great. It's just Chloe and Ellis. That sucks, doesn't it? Because I've done nothing wrong to Chloe ever, but because Ellis doesn't like me, like, she doesn't like me either, which is so not fair. And apparently I'm really into talking about the death penalty today, but I get on with everybody apart from Ellis and Chloe. Guys, I don't know. I can't figure out my brother. He's just a real odd bod. I'm gonna paint myself an updated uh, Leo painting, because I like to document all of his- all of him through the years. There we go. Oh, look, he's even looking at me. Leo, I just wish I didn't see my brother every time I looked at you because that's all I can see. He's like Blondellis. More Spencer jeans needed to be in him. Oh, look at this picture. 
He's so cute, isn't he? <laughs> Little baby. I'm running out of wall space. That's how many pictures I do. One of them's on the window. Okay, that ain't right. There we go. <laughs> so many pictures. I, I do, do I have any more photos in my inventory still? Oh, I do still have some photos. Okay, this is good. I'll put all the photos up here. Oh my God, there's like loads of like ex-boyfriends or ex-husbands. I'm like, yeah, we can't put that one up. Oh man, I can't put that one up either, can I? Ugh. Oh well, some nice memories at least. There we go, let's pop some little frames on them. Oh, I have more, I have more, I have more. Okay, let's put some more up. I just love pictures, guys. I just love them. Oh, ex. <laughs> ex again. Ex-husband, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, mum. Mum the icon, that's good. There we go, a few more. I've kept the one up of Ellis, even if we don't have a good relationship anymore, because, like, he's still my brother. I'm hoping if I retire to England, I can try and make things right, because I feel kind of sad about the whole thing. Oh, oh my gosh, look at Spencer's bod still, by the way. We're all up having a bit of breakfast. I gave Spencer a little bit of facial hair. Oh, look at the bees. Uh, to help differentiate him from uh, Leo because they're, oh my gosh. I'm about to say they're kind of similar, but it is pure Ellis. It's freaky. Uh, but these guys are getting ready for, oh, it's Sunday today, actually. So they're not getting ready for uni and stuff. I don't know, like, is there anything we can do? Like, can I go spend time with you guys somehow? We went to play Bit Life together. Well, that doesn't help me, does it? <laughs> How about you, Spence? We're still very much in love. But I can't, like, spend time with him. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Talking about some weird stuff there. Never mind, I'm gonna get a little thumbs to go on a nice little fishing trip today together, okay? Because look, we've got this adorable place outside our house. So I think we should be, like, real wholesome and go fishing together. I'm not quite sure how down for fishing with his parents Leo is. This is not, like, quite the most fun way to spend your Sunday, but we need to spend, like, good time with him now because he was gonna be moving out soon. Soon. He is gonna be moving out soon. One thing I'm gonna have to do is, oh wow, I caught like a tire thing. If you have fish in your inventory in The Sims, it actually makes it your bills higher. So if you fish, just make sure you get rid of the fish or mount them or do something with them because they will increase your bills. I do not understand the logic of that. Sims has completely lost me there. Uh, but yeah, that is the way that it works. The little house on the hilltop. Just love this thumbs. Okay, let's go ahead and do another year. Oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I'm concerned because your best friend's coke. Oh, my best friend is using drugs. Okay, let's uh, stage an intervention for her. Okay, Estrella. I didn't even know I had a friend called Estrella. Okay. Okay, lots of stuff has happened. Um, Spencer and I have been married for 20 years. Spencer, come give me a big old 20 year celebratory kiss, please. There we go, 20 years. Sorry, embarrassing in front of you, Leah, but we've been together for 20 years, which might be- Ooh, Billy as well. Billy with her strange CC. I'm gonna go stage an intervention for her. She can be our equivalent of Estrella. Okay, oh, Billy, you're getting a hot your name yeah. change here to Estrella. <laughs> so we're gonna stage a little oh, intervention gosh, yeah. here to help poor Estrella and her addiction. Oh, wow. Beautiful hey, dress, babe. beautiful tattoo. Crenzy. The able the tattoo, you guys. Ah. There we go. We've been a good yeah. best friend. Ooh. Kind of works that they've known each other Take their whole boost. lives. So I'm, so I'm pretty happy Bye. about that. I'll let them do their thing. Yeah, also, my him. adopted son Pepe and his you wife Juliana had a baby girl. <laughs> Narland named Roy. Maria Bell. Oh, My son Leo moved <laughs> My niece Chloe has been promoted to a sergeant and my niece Ella graduated university with an undergraduate degree in information systems. She's at a new position as a junior IT support for Gaze at Financial. Okay, so while these guys hang out, I am gonna go to a uh, little Pepe, Lu Pepe, Pepe Larula and get him uh, a baby. <laughs> a baby girl, he's had a baby girl whereas I could never have one. I'm so sad. Jealous of my own son, but it's fine because I've got a baby granddaughter now. Okay, let's head back to uh, little Pepe's house. Hopefully when I get there, they won't be trying to woohoo in a disgusting pile of leaves again. And I can make these guys try themselves for a, a little babaloo. So let's go ahead and get Juliana to take herself a little pregnancy test. This is Pepe's wife, if you guys don't remember. Apparently Pepe doesn't flush the toilet that. Did you notice she had to flush the toilet before she went to it? Pepe, I raised you better than that. Also, this toilet roll for me is the wrong way around. Like, that's triggering. <gasps> And she's expecting, she's eating for two. Brilliant. Oh, she have to go tell him. 
She's off to go tell my little son, Pepe, the big news. There's a baby in my tum tum. Okay, he's definitely happy about that, giving her some flattery. I am gonna go ahead and fast forward your pregnancy though, my love. One female babies, it always gets it right. How does it do that? Let's set the pregnancy phase to in labor, please. Yep, it's suddenly you're very uncomfortable. It's a bit like the Umbrella Academy. Have you seen that show on Netflix where they like start the day off not pregnant and then they have a baby by the end of the day and it's really weird. We're gonna get Pepe to come with her and let's get this baby show on the road. How many births have I been here for now? Maggie had three. Uh, I had one and an adopted one, so obviously I never saw Pepe being born. Ellis had two. Joan had zero. And now Pepe has got one as well. That's a lot of bubble roos. That is a lot of bubble roos. I hope Leo has some as well. Oh wow, Pepe, don't run away! No, he's running away. He's freaking out too much. Three parental panic and he's gone to go to the toilet. Great. But perfect. It's a little girl. What was she called again? Maria. Maria Bell. Oh my gosh. Exciting. There we go. Pepe's got a cute little Maria. I'll get to give her like stuff when she becomes a toddler. But she's not a toddler quite yet. Pepe, who honestly I still think looks older than Spencer. I'm just putting it out there. And also, you guys said that he didn't drop out of school. He actually, um, in Mexico, you graduate from high school earlier, like younger. So thank you for the information there. That makes me happy about Pepe. And I can't believe I have to do this. But Leo, I thought since Leo went to uni, that meant he would stay like at home. He's moved out. He must have gone out to live at uni. So that's just really sad. So he's out in the world on his own. I can't believe that, my poor Leo. So yeah, it's literally just me and Spence now. I have fully emptiness syndrome. It's just us. Like, yeah, it's nice daddy. that you guys have like, uh -huh. you know, you've got the house to yourselves again. And like, you can watch movies, just the two of you. And it's not awkward if you get flirty and stuff. But I'm still really sad about it. Oh, well, we can sort of behave like a... Uh, like teenagers again. <laughs> May as well make the most of it. We're still super in love, so hey, why not? I guess I have to just keep growing up in years. I sort of feel like because I'm getting like, I'm 51 now, I might be getting like, this could be my final episode of this family. I'm gonna feel so sad. Okay, let's go up another year. My niece Ella married Ethan, a 19 year old student. She changed her name to Ella Campbell. Mother Nature moved her body in a dangerous cyclone through Australia. Most were evacuated, however, 11 deaths have been confirmed. It's a good job we didn't emigrate there, because I sort of feel like, oh wow, look at us too. Look at them. What are you guys off to go do? Just being super flirty. But Ella has married Ethan. How old is Ella? Ella's 24, so she's married a guy five years her senior. Ella, you little cougar. You absolute little cougar. Did it say he was a student as well? Yeah, he's a student. He, She's literally just like taken after um, Maggie so much. Oh, Pepe wants to come and join us at the bar. I have to go and do this whole Ethan Ella thing. Oh no, Ella's, Ella is Maggie's daughter and she She's done the exact same thing. She's made the exact same mistake. I can't actually believe this is happening, but okay. I sort of feel like it could have been a shotgun wedding, which is where you get married because there's a baby involved. That's kind of also what Maggie did, but let's go ahead and add a little Nathan to the family. Can't believe her. Which one's Ella? Ella, she's this one. Okay, so I have to make her a student boyfriend. Wow. I can't see what the attractiveness of her partner is. Let's search on Clash of Antownies. Ella's really beautiful, so I'm just gonna go for an attractive dude, you know? What about him? He looks like an attractive young student, doesn't he? I love his socks and shoes. Let's do him. He's by Restorer. Oh, I think I've used one of your sims before. Must be uploaded a lot. Okay, so let's give him some skin details. And there we go. Our oh, how old is he? 19 year old student, Ethan. Ethan Campbell. And I definitely feel like this was like a little bit of a shotgun wedding. But like the two of them just met in a bar together, having a beer. He maybe didn't realize that she was a lot older because she's got a young face, hasn't she? And things ended up getting a little bit flirty. Maybe a few too many beers were hard. He's a little charmer. Like, I feel like even what was Owen and Ethan, they even kind of sound similar names in my head. I don't know why, but they just sort of do. First kisses were hard and then 
This place has the closet, so uh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So I'm sort of feeling like if I age up another year. Oh look, Ellis is here. Ellis is here finding. Like he's not impressed. He's not impressed at all. But um, oh he's devastated. <laughs> Ellis. Um, I sort of feel like if I age up another year, I'm gonna see um that it was. It's gonna say that Ella is pregnant. I can just feel it. I'm not gonna try for a baby, they're just in clothes, but I'm gonna get them to woohoo in the closet. They've had several beers at this point, and yeah, wo closet woohoos. Oh wow, what is it? This person's gonna be in the closet with them by the looks of it. Oh, he nearly went into the bouncer. And there you go. They get out, they're just like, everybody knows, everyone knows, but they're just gonna be like so drunk and head over heels and loves that they're just gonna be like, let's just get married immediately. Let's like, this is Vegas, let's just get married. Wow. I mean, like, wow. Everyone's just crowding around. Everybody knows. Like, don't feel like you hid it well because you didn't, okay? Oh my gosh, and everyone's taking pictures. Oh, I thought everyone was taking pictures of them, but there's a celebrity behind. Also, also, really awkwardly, her dad was here this whole time. Also, wow, I think she just turned down the proposal. Are you kidding? Is this not romantic enough for you? You need another drink in you, that's what's wrong. Let's try this again. Please work this time. No, everyone's not taking pictures of you. She still looks a bit worried to me. Oh yeah, she said yes this time. There we go. This is what happens when you have 10 beers with a student you've met in a bar. And then they're gonna elope immediately. Oh, wow, they've got outside to do it. Hey, at least they went for a slightly more romantic setting than right next to the closet that they just woohooed in. I'm, I'm impressed with them for that, at least. I'm not sure about this wedding attire, though. At least he's kind of all the same color as a tuxedo would be, but... Ella, I don't even understand what's going on in your life right now. I just don't. What a beautiful ceremony. Really? Uh, really? You've got quite a low bar, low bar for a like, good ceremony there, Sims. There we go. Exchanging the rings. And Ella is now engaged. <laughs> uh, sorry! She's not married, forget engaged. She's married. Okay, glad we could pop back to England just to do that real quick. Let's do another year in the life of my crazy bit life. Horse races and where your friends will go. That sounds like a wonderful outing. We're super rich, so I'm just gonna put everything on Simple Simon. 100, should I? <laughs> Why not 100 grand on Simple Simon? <gasps> okay, Simple Simon is green, please, please. <laughs> please, this is 100 grand, this is 100 grand. This is... <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I won. Oh. I just got half a million pounds. Are you joking? Wow. 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 And also Chloe married Luke Campbell, a 28 year old flight attendant. She changed her name to Chloe Campbell. Wait, Ethan Campbell, Luke Campbell has what? <laughs> what? Has Chloe married her cousin's brother? That it, that's too much of a co coincidence, isn't it? That is too much of a coincidence right there. Chloe hates us, so we definitely would not be invited to this wedding. But I definitely feel like she just married this dude's brother. So I'm gonna like play with genetics and make his brother real quick. That's oh, crazy. Oh, that is genius. actually crazy. His brother. His brother is a lot older than him. But yeah, it's his sibling. And he's an adult. And it's oh, a boy. So let's take off the CC. And we've basically got ourselves. <laughs> uh, what's he called? Is it Luke Campbell? I'm going to make him like a full on adult because he's 28. He looks a bit older, doesn't he? Okay, so there we go. A Luke Campbell. So I've got Ella, her job in IT. And then I'm going to get, where is he? Luke. Luke is going to go and travel. Maybe it's when like, um... Ella and Ethan went over to like introduce the, introduce oh he's getting confused and introduce Ethan to uh the other fums that's when her big brother met him that's what we'll say if you guys don't remember Aww. these are Ellis's two daughters I actually think Chloe is probably the most beautiful of all of them and we're gonna introduce ourselves to him as Luke. I know it's getting confusing. Luke, who's Ethan's big brother, who is married to Ella. There we go. <laughs> and I don't technically think there's anything wrong with marrying your cousin's husband's brother. It's a little bit weird, but it's not all that weird, to be honest, because there's no, like, weird DNA. And it's like a marriage. It's like a... It's not through blood, basically. It's still a bit, you know, a bit of a circle, but it's not, it's not as bad as it could have been. And these guys have just really hit it off, so... So he just confesses uh, to her that like, look, I know my brother is married to your cousin, but you're the most beautiful girl I've ever 
than that. You're in the army. That's so cool. Like I'm a flight attendant. Our jobs are gonna make it difficult for us. But I just, I just have to kiss you. Oh. <laughs> sort of enjoying this ship to be honest i hope they stay together they're a little bit older in their lives so i feel like they probably will like this is our most sensible one i feel like with the other cousin even though i get on really well with her as violet i didn't get to go to that wedding because it was very quick with this one chloe straight up wouldn't invite me like she hates me so i wouldn't even get invited to this wedding which is so harsh so yeah this is where the family strife thing kind of sucks because like i should be at this wedding but because uh, Ellis and Chloe hate me, I don't get to be at the wedding. Like, I don't, also don't know what Buggy's dancing away to. But yeah, I don't get to go to the wedding with everybody, which is just not fair. Ellis, how could you do this? How could you actually do this to me? This is my niece. I should be there for this. It's so messed up. Like... Alice! Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna move Luke in with Chloe and Imogen. So even though I'm super devastated that I found out my niece got married and I didn't get invited to it, Spencer's trying real hard to make me feel better at least. And in like real happy news, Maria is now three. So at least I can go and like see my granddaughter as a toddler now. So I think that's probably the best way to cheer me up. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh, Spencer, make me feel happy. Oh, I think with Spencer at my side, it's hard to stay sad for very long. Though I am very sad. Oh my gosh, please make me feel better. Oh, let's go over and meet my little granddaughter before things get even sadder. Let's bring Leo along as well. I think it's important he sees her too. Yay, the whole fums is back together again. This is so nice. At least I'm with my uh asking advice from my little sons, complaining, letting them make me feel a little bit better. Also getting to know little Juliana as well. And then I get to meet this little cutie pie here. And Asia up as well, so she can become a little toddler. So I get left to do her diaper, which is a little bit annoying. But can I try age her up? Okay, here we go. Oh, wow! Did you see her clone herself by accident there? She's also, like, quite a smart kid. And she's super attractive as well. So there we go. Little cute Maria. Let's go ahead and check her out. Okay, so this is little Maria. It's, I think it's got a bit confused on skin tones as well. Pepe is here. And Maria is here. I don't know, somewhere in between there. So probably using CC skin tones, it doesn't know how to assign it to your like child. I think about that looks right to me. She's got black hair. I'm gonna give her some nicer eyebrows. <laughs> and some big old eyelashes. Oh man, she's adorable. <laughs> she's actually so adorable. Oh, she's so cute. I can't believe I'm already at a point where I'm on my first grandchild. How crazy is that? Give her a few more little wisps down there. But she's so cute. So cute. My first little grandchild. I'll give her this dress just because it's so adorable. <laughs> but there we go. Little adorable Maria. Our first ever grandchild. At least although half the family is ostracized us, we still have our half. And that star is still going really well. I've gone and made her a little kid's room. Oh, I need to give her a little toddler bed. Oh, she's got flowers in her room. But she's got, she's got a little bed and stuff as well. And you guys, are, oh wow, the frame rate's just slowed down, but I have my very own. Little grandchild, I think I'm gonna leave it there for today as well, mainly because like, what is even going on right now? It's slowed down so, so much. But I'm gonna take a little sneaky peek about what we will have when we come back to another episode. <laughs> I will be 55. Someone, out, someone hanging out next to you and a, a Christina Aguilera concert offers you £10,000 to bring a package to Australia. All expenses paid. Uh, no, that sounds like a really quick way to get busted for drugs, so we won't do that. Oh my gosh. Look at Leo's job. He's, he's graduated with a degree in IT. And I can't even say what his job is. Leo! Leo, how could you do this? Ella has been promoted as well. And I'm 54. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to tackle Leo's very unconventional job choice in the next episode. I actually can't believe that's just happened. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I'll see you in another one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Every time I tell me what I'm going to do.